It's been more than a decade conducting training in the IT industry on various different technologies and programming languages. Every time I conduct a batch, I am asked a very common question. Shalini, how do you manage to have command on so many different technologies and programming languages? Actually speaking, it is pretty easy. Let me share you my secret tips and the best practices that I follow whenever I am upgrading on any new skill or technology broken down into these seven small steps. Hey everyone, this is Shalini Mittal and you are watching Tech Gatha. So here comes the tip number one, concepts. Whenever we learn anything, it is very important to understand why are we learning, whatever parts of a programming language you are learning, you need to understand the purpose, the importance and what it brings in your programs. So for example, you are learning variables. You need to understand the importance and the purpose of the variables. You are learning loops. You need to understand where the loop starts, where the loop ends, how, what is the step value and why basically in a loop we need an initial value, we need a stopping condition or we need a step value. So as we always say, do not marry a language and do not marry a company. The reason we say is you don't know how long the company stays don't know how long you stay in a company or you don't know how long a language will stay. You never know any one of you may be a founder of a new programming language five years down the line. To be able to create a programming language, you need to understand the concepts behind it. So it is very important to understand the concepts. Here comes step number two, learn by typing. You know, we have so much of online resources right now. It's very easy to just go ahead, sneak in, take the shortcut, copy the code and paste it. Voila, you got the output and you become happy. But you are not learning when you are doing that. Whenever you are learning, even if there is just a one line of code, even if it's just declaring a variable, make sure you type, you code. You actually code each and every line. That is very important. So you always learn by typing. The more you type, the more you are learning. This brings to the next important tip that is errors. Yeah, I know no one likes errors, but believe me, errors are wonderful. If you are getting errors, that means you are learning. Whenever I conduct a batch and I hear, ma'am, we got errors. Believe me, I'm the most happiest person. The reason being, if a person is getting error, he or she did not copy paste. Using the brains, they are writing the code. Yes, you make silly mistakes and that's where the learning starts. You should be very happy when you get the errors and do not be scared of any errors that you get. Next step, repeat yourself. Whenever you learn anything, it's very easy to forget, right? We don't say that you should buy hard the syntax because as I said, you cannot marry a language. You don't know today we have C, C++, Java, Python. Five years down the line, what language will be there in the market? Learning or by harding the syntax is very difficult. It's not pretty easy. But then, the more you repeat yourself by creating projects or by teaching someone, maybe for free, just to your colleagues, to peers, create YouTube videos or do lots of practice. The more you repeat yourself, the more you get habitual to it and then it follows in your nerves and muscles and it becomes very easy and then you actually start getting command in that particular language. Next step, read and explore. There are so much of online resources nowadays. We are so lucky that we have access to so much of free and paid resources as well. Even though they are paid, they are very nominal. The more you read, the more you explore, the more you the more you watch the different YouTube videos or tutorials, believe me, every trainer will have something different to tell you. You will be learning something different in every training, every material that you read. It's very important that you read and explore. Which brings to next very important tip, take 
baby steps. What I mean, many a times people call me and they say, Shalini, I want to learn C, C++, Java, Python, MySQL, HTML, CSS and I am like, why? It's in demand, you know, and I can put all those things in my resume. I said, I understand. But then what happens if you just put and dump into your resume? You may reach maybe on the interview table. Will you be able to clear the interview? No. Yes, learning all the skills is very important. I don't say you shouldn't. But, but when I say take baby steps is, if suppose you started with Python, give three months of time, explore the Python programming language, understand the concepts, do code, type each and every line of code. When you do that, at the same time, you are also having a grip on the syntax of that language and you are learning. Spend three months of time. After three months of time, transitioning to any new programming language, C, C++, Java, Ruby, R language, PHP, you can name anything. Believe me, it's just a cakewalk. The reason is you have focused on the concepts, you focused on practicing, you focused on typing and you focused on learning. So when you do this, when you take baby steps, then you can speed up. And the last and the most important tip, project. We learn concepts, we learn in parts. So we learn using if else. we learn a program using loops, we learn a program where we implement functions. We learn a program where we implement arrays. But then you really don't understand how all these pieces that you have learned, they basically integrate with each other. How do they talk with each other? When you create a project, maybe it's a dummy project, you can take any online projects, dummy projects, assignments, practice, practice and create at least one project with brand programming language. Believe me, you will feel a difference after you have created a project because you actually understood where all the pieces fit in, where you use and the reason why you are using any particular constructs or concepts that you have learned. So this is what I follow when I upgrade on any particular skills. Do you have anything that you would like to share? If yes, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Happy learning, take care and bye-bye.